reason I'm running, I love Olean. I love the people here. I've been here all my life. I'm a lifelong resident of uh, Olean and of Ward 4. I lived in that neighborhood all my life. I, I, would, ever, I would never leave. I do see a lot of deterioration coming around in our neighborhoods. Out of town slumlords coming in, buying up property. They usually pick them up at a tax sale very cheaply, make a few basic repairs just to get through code, and then they turn them into an instant slum. And I've been watching this for years and years and years, and it just aggravates the, the heck out of me. We have a terrific code enforcement office. These, these guys work very hard, but at least in my board, I've been doing a lot of walking and talking to people, and, and I see this horrible deterioration and our code enforcement guys are being completely overwhelmed. They just cannot get enough help to get in there and do what they have to do. We have enough laws in place right now to hit these guys and hit them hard. And they gotta be hit hard and, and uh, quickly, quickly. City taxes are bad, but they're not as bad as the county taxes and the school taxes. They're completely overwhelming and, okay, People are leaving only in, in, in record numbers. We're down to a little more than 14,000 people in the city of Olean right now. I think it's 14, three, something like that. And you just got people moving out. Basically, they can't afford the taxes anymore. And that's why these slumlords are coming in and, and getting horrible rents for these dumps they, they, they rent out. And our streets are, we live in the Northeast, we're not living in Miami. Our streets are getting a terrible beating in the winter time. But I, we have a, a good streets department and uh, they, they patch up the holes as quickly as they can. And uh, overall, we're not that bad. I mean, I drive in other cities too, and in the Northeast, and they're every bit or worse off than Olean is. We're, we're about average for the Northeast. We have to do more about cutting our expenses or watching our expenses. And I realize with state mandates and federal mandates and their unfunded mandates, I, I know they can't be controlled, but we should have a council or a committee to look over the budget. I mean, of people not on the council and not, not working for the city. Um, we can cut out a lot of things and little things add up. It's a long process. Yeah. And you gotta go bit by bit over the city process, but, uh, the, uh, but I, I do have time. So many people that I, I know have, were born here and they lived here all their lives and they're just hardworking, decent people. I think that is the strength of all